conversation for today as we talk about the National Youth Awards and the Rising Entrepreneur Gala. We have with us on set Renata Samuels, who's the Communications Officer for the Department of Youth Services. And we have Crystal Samos of Samos Consultancy Firm, who is the organizer of the Rising Entrepreneur Gala and also a past awardee uh, from the National Youth Awards. Good morning, ladies, and Good thank you morning. for being here. Thank you for having us in the first place. <laughs> you know, I think that uh, this conversation couldn't be more fitting following a conversation about the prisons. Mm -hmm. Because when we talk about uh, the challenges that we have with people who come in conflict with the law, there are also many people who are doing positive things oh, and yes. the youth services and other agencies who are trying to engage young people in more positive activities. So let's just start off by talking about uh, the youth department and some of the services that you have been offering. So at the Department of Youth Services, we try to provide an enabling body yeah. for young people to come, have a safe place, be able to reach their full potential. We offer sexual help health um, well-being yeah. services, we offer governance, you can learn about leadership skills, we go into schools a lot, we have many officers that are attached to high schools, yeah. and this is actually countrywide, so remember we have 11 centers yeah. in Belize, so we're even in the Keys because we have a center in San Pedro as well. Yeah. And what we try to do our best is to really listen to the young people, build programs to help enable them, provide the skills that they need, whether it be resume writing or just learning a craft or a skill or engaging them in just a fun activity to help them take their mind off the stresses of home. Yeah. But we try to do that for young people because as we had our youth mainstreaming and we were on the show in February and looking at how Belize looks at um, some young people as deficits, you know, they are mm. a problem. But we need to look at them in the specter of assets like they're here to benefit our country they're here to add value to our country mm -hmm. so that will, that's how we look at our young people at the department of Aid services what can we gain from them yeah. what can we benefit from them how can we all grow together it's not about fixing the seed mm -hmm. it's about fixing the environment to enable the seed to actually grow and that's something from um our director miss allison mckenzie she yeah. says a lot yeah and when you look at, you know, the, the type of programs that people are attracted to, what's it like? What, what, what do the young people who um, access the services at youth department, what are they most attracted to? It's different in districts yeah. because out district they're caring a lot about gardening, environmental aspects, and a lot about resumes and job preparedness. Yeah. And then sometimes more in actual the cities, they want to know a skill. So it would be barbering, sewing, or so forth. So we try to provide based on that need. We always go out and we survey yeah. and find out really what they want because we can't just be making these programs out of thin air and yeah. no one shows up, right? Yeah. So we try to go to those needs that the young people really desire. Mm -hmm. So let's move into one of the celebrations that you have, and that's uh, the National Youth Awards. Crystal, a few years ago, uh, you were a recipient of one of yes. these awards. Tell me a bit about what that meant for you in your own journey. I think it was so, it was a pivotal moment for me because a lot of times young people, and that's why this department is so important because a lot of times young people feel like they're not seen. Mm -hmm. They feel like all their work, they're putting all this effort and I'm trying to be a better person for the society and for Belize and my work is not being seen. So when things like this happen, these events, it really makes you feel like all your work, all your work is, you know, being valued mm -hmm. and, it's, and it's worth it. So for me, it was, it was a moment in my life when I realized, you know what, hard work does pay off. Mm -hmm. It does pay off and it really kept me pushing more mm -hmm. and really kept me wanting to do more things, you know. Yeah. to change Belize a little bit more. You were nominated as an entrepreneur. I think, you know, we hear a lot about young people wanting to start their own business. We hear a lot of investment in entrepreneurship programs and trainings and all the, the, the bells and whistles that are yeah. necessary. Um, what did you find in terms of your own personal experiences to what it's like trying to get your own business started? <laughs> It's, it's difficult. Yeah. Gladly, we do have organizations like Beltrade and SBC that are there to help you and guide you. Yeah. And the reason why Samus Consultant started and why the Rising Entrepreneur came about was because even though you have these organizations that are so helpful, there's something missing. You want that hand-in-hand -hand help. Yeah. Sit here in front of me and talk to me. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to be sometimes waiting for an email or a call for a while. Yeah. And sometimes you're like, I need to make a decision now. Who do I call? Where do I get this advice from mm -hmm. right now? Yeah. So that's what we're doing. That's what Summers Consulting is doing. It's giving young people that hand-in-hand, face-to-face, 
sit in front of me and talk to me about how to start a business, mm -hmm. where do I move from here, how do I brand it properly, how do I market it properly, and yeah. so forth. Yeah. And clearly a great example of uh, helping people along by acknowledging their work through the right. awards, yeah. right? It just shows you like we have other success stories and I wouldn't even call it success stories because these young people are successful on their own. We're just yeah. highlighting the great work that they've been doing past these years. Yeah. So like we have Chris Miller who is now the Car Commit Ambassador. He won the Minister's Award last year. Uh -huh. But it just goes to show you that these young people, they're doing things in the community. Sometimes they're not having the spotlight on them. Right. Yeah. But that doesn't mean that they're not doing things. And yeah. that's what I love about the Youth Awards is being able to amplify their voices to let you see that they're out there doing something and it's not just the crime rates that are going up because mm. good deeds are being done too as well. So what type of people are you looking for for your awards? Well, I wouldn't say we're looking for a specific <laughs> type of it. Like, you know, it's not a gender or anything, yeah. but we look at the ages 15 to 29 because that's yeah. the youth population, right? And it's about 70%. So that's a good amount, right? Yeah. And we look at them and they have to be doing their work for at least a year, mm -hmm. right? Um, it's normally nominated, yeah. but you can nominate yourself as well. I was just mm -hmm. telling Crystal about that. And she's like, oh, I didn't know they had that feature. Right. And I'm like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I thought the department yeah. knows no. me or whatever. She said, no, somebody no. has to nominate. nominate. Thank you. And I'm like, well, whoever did, thank you. <laughs> I just found out all the years later. Yeah. So the department has no hands in that. So yeah. we, I'm not allowed to nominate anyone. Yeah. But you say you feel like nominating somebody, Marlene, you go and you nominate someone. It's yeah. basic. You have, a, we actually cater for either your writing skills or your video skills. So okay. you can do either a 500, um, 500 word essay mm -hmm. or you can do a three minute video. There's some people that are stronger when they're just talking to you right now. And yeah. there's some people that write so well. Yeah. So we're having that idea of telling us the work that you be, you're doing, the passion, etc. And just your basic um, social security card and the picture and so yeah. forth. So if I nominate someone, I have to write the essay or the video? No, it would be the person. So normally, although sometimes people want it to be a surprise, yeah. it came to this point now where you have to have the person send in the video. Oh, or, so you still want to the person who's being yes. nom nominated. So, yeah, you will basically help with the bio of mm -hmm. the person and so forth. But at the end of the day, they still need to write their essay or they still need to be able to do the video. You can help them along the way or so right. forth. Yeah. But it's really about them being highlighted for the work that they're doing. And I'm sure mm -hmm. sometimes you don't know every single thing that yeah. they're doing. So yeah. it's normally beneficial for them to be able to have that hand in that. And what's the different categories? So we have several categories mm -hmm. and I have my listing here. <laughs> so I'm going to go through them. We yeah. have the Youth Workers Award and this is actually for a DYS staff member. We just opened this award back again because uh -huh. we didn't have it for a couple of years. But we decided that because of having so much hardworking youth officers, it's nice to just give them a little recognition too yeah. as well. And no, no DYS member can actually apply for any of these awards either way. So like this yeah. one is a way to just highlight them and you know, give them a little push and be like, you're doing a good job, yeah. you're doing a good yeah. job. Then we have the Car Community Ambassador Award, we have the Corporate Sponsor Award, and this is normally for any um, corporate agency that is actually giving out to, say, for Samus Consultancy, if they're funding a lot of projects that are helping towards youth development, yeah. they would be able to apply for that Corporate Sponsor oh, Award. Good. And it's good to like yeah. show that you're helping out, let's, yeah. let's award you for that. Yeah. Um, we have the Youth in Agriculture Award, Diversity Able, Award, the Youth in Entrepreneurship Award that Crystal won about four years ago. Wow. Award for um, Innovation and Technology. We know a lot of people are very techie these days yeah. and they're doing apps and they're actually promoting development through technology. So we're trying to enhance that. Um, we have Environmental Steward Award. The Youth Club Award, so that's just a club for the year. Yeah, and it can be a school club, it can be... It could be a school club. Yeah. It could be a school club. As long as you're doing goodwill for over a year and you can okay. actually show account for that. Mm -hmm. um, the Strength Through the Adversity Award, and I love this award. I feel like at the prison they would actually love this award because it's showing that although you've been pushed back, whether it be in a geographic location or you've had a hard family bring up or whatever it is, mm -hmm. you'll be able to apply for this and show that you can still do good throughout yeah. it. And I love, that's one of my favorite awards because it just shows you yeah, that people rise up. That come yes, yeah. you, could, you could rise up from the dust if you yeah. want to call it like that. Uh, we have the Outstanding Young Musician Award, Academic Excellence Award. And for this award, we kind of did a little criteria more in depth because uh, we want people to know exactly where to go when it comes to academic excellence. Because, yeah. you know, sometimes people have a little a little say about, oh, oh, um, how do you apply or how do you qualify for that? So yeah. for the academic excellence, they have to be in about three to four years good standing with academic excellence. 
mm -hmm. and they have to be in school mm -hmm. too as well for at least or graduated for a, the most about two years okay so that means they're able to be able to show that they have um, been in school and they're not out for like years and years and years because there's yeah. some people that have been out of school and they've had a yeah maybe they just graduated yeah. yeah so we're just trying to look at that kind of criteria there okay and then we look also at the student government of the year award which I love that so yeah. it gives all those student governments that are actually working really hard time to let's battle this out and see yeah. who's the best student government <laughs> or who's working the hardest right yeah. now right and that's just always interesting yeah. um, youth in journalism award mm -hmm. uh, we have social media influencer award and that one is a little bit new. Yeah. It's looking at a young person, because you know, FB and Instagram or Twitter, all these things are like popping if you want to see it. Yeah. Right now. yeah. <laughs> and it looks at a young person that's trying to promote youth development, goodwill, enhancing people's minds through social media. Yeah. So if they're posting this. So it's not just that they have great selfies, it's that they're using yeah. The, yeah. <laughs> the page for a bit more than that. Maybe right? their selfie that they, they were voting or something and it was <laughs> yeah. shared a lot, but people got the message. Maybe that's a good selfie <laughs> right. there. But it's showing up how you can influence through social media. And yeah. I love that idea. Cause no, that's that's FB right. is the something, time, yeah. the shares, that's something to look into. Yeah. And then we have, of course, academic, um, the Athletic Excellence Award nice. for male and female. We nice. keep both of them there. Yeah. And then, of course, the Youth Minister's Award for Leadership and Advocacy. So it's a lot of awards. Yeah. We're coming up when I have KTV and everything. We're going to have our commercials and everything oh. ready. <laughs> so everybody's going to be able to see the categories. If you ever want to know about an award and how exactly specific it is, you can yeah. always call in to yeah. any one of the Department of Youth Services countrywide. You can get a rundown of how it is, what you need to have your criteria and so forth. Yeah. Now, Crystal, you're doing some work with entrepreneurs too. You spoke of how uh, you have come full circle in being able to offer uh, services to people who want to start up their own business. But you also have your Rising Entrepreneur Gala. And this mm -hmm. is a fundraising effort. Tell us a bit it more is. about that. It came about when my first small business, Carpe Diem, mm -hmm. you know, came to its first anniversary and I said, man, you know, it, it was really good. I, you know, I started something that I thought wouldn't get to yeah. that, you know, grow so much. Mm -hmm. So in my gratitude to give back to my Belize and to my young people and everyone who had supported me, I said, let's do a fundraiser to give back to yeah. a young person, like just like myself, started with a dream and wanted to get somewhere. Mm -hmm. Let's give back to that person and let's take them through that journey. So the first gala was three years ago very successful we were able to raise six thousand dollars which yeah. is a lot of money for a young person who so, yeah. you know wants to start <laughs> a, a small business it's a lot of money and if the process for that is that just like for the youth award you can nominate someone or you but you still have to fill out your application yeah it's now open it's at the youth department because yeah. you know this year i decided to partner with them so it's yeah. an event that we're doing together yeah, yeah. We're venturing it together and you pick up the application from the U department, fill it out, and you drop it off back there. Yeah. Then we have, you know, a small board of women that get to decide and choose five top recipients. Okay. Out of those five, we call them in, and we ask them to, okay, okay now pitch your presentation to yeah. us. Did, you know, talk to us about what is it that you want to do more in detail. From those five, then we select one person, mm -hmm. and that person is given the grant. After the grant is given in November the 23rd of this year, I get to work hand in hand and closely with the recipient. Because one thing is giving them this amount of money and then the other thing is them actually using it for what they said they yeah. weren't gonna use it. Or sometimes they want to use it for that purpose, but they, they're young, they don't have the guidance, they yeah. don't know how to use it properly. So that's where Summer's Consulting comes in along with Bell Trade and SBDC, Miss um, Monique Usher, thank you so much for all the assistance. Yeah. So that's where we come in and I said, okay, let me help you ensure that this is a success. Mm -hmm. Mr. Salim Hoy, who was our first recipient, um, had the idea of starting Scubble. Three years later, uh -huh. it's still here, it's still growing, yeah. you know. Oh, that's he, so much fun. Yes, it's, <laughs> yeah. I still haven't Painful played it. Sometime, yeah. but it's fun, it's really fun. <laughs> so, you know, I need people to realize that this is true. And you your know? second recipient, who is that? This, we haven't chosen, the application okay. um, just went out, it's just opened. We're okay. choosing, the deadline is August 
first. First. Yeah. August first. Then we decide. Are you looking for only female entrepreneurs? This year, because of all the domestic violence uh -huh. taking place in our country, we mm -hmm. decided to cater this one specific event to single mothers. Okay. So whether we decide to do it next year or the year after, it won't be for single mothers because but like I said, this year because of yeah. everything going on in the country, we did decide to do it for single mothers yeah. between the ages of six 18 to 28, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, how far do they have to be in their business then? Could they have already started? No, it could uh, be just an idea. Okay. It could be just an idea. When Salim came and all the other applicants that we had, it was just an idea. They wanted to do this, but they didn't have the funds to start it. So yeah. some of them had just an idea. They wanted to do it. Some already had a business plan. Yeah. And I want to encourage all single mothers to apply. It doesn't matter if you have an education, a formal education or not. Yeah. We're not looking for that, you know. Yeah. We, we all talk about these great stories that most of, some of the most successful people that we know in the world don't have a formal education. So I don't yeah. want that to stop anyone or yeah. any single mother from not applying because they're scared that they don't have an education. Have someone assist you, fill out your application, write yeah. all your essay, you know, because once you get that money, you will have guidance on how to properly use it. So it's yeah. okay. We don't, we're not looking for people who are in business five years and, and yeah. you know, all these things. If so I just started, like if I'm one year in, can I still apply? Or it still has to be at the idea or business plan phase? It has to be at the idea or business plan okay, phase. Okay, so before yes. you actually execute. Before you start to execute and yeah. so forth, yes. Nice. Yeah. And on average, you said you give out about $6,000. Three years ago, it was six thousand. Our our target. target this year is eight. Uh -huh. We try not to say that a lot because you know we we, we don't, don't want people to hear the numbers. <laughs> it's supposed to be a surprise. Be like, hey, eight. Right. Hey. Yeah. Like, <laughs> but we that is our target, and we're so excited. We, you know, we we want to work. We, we are working really hard to meet that target at eight thousand yeah. yeah. dollars, and hopefully in the future is coming. You, our target is 10,000 and we're able to split that into two and assist yeah. more people, you know? Yeah. So as we go along, as we're growing, we're learning all these things and, yeah. you know, we're expanding and I'm, you know, I'm grateful for places like the U department and like I said, Bell Trade, who are yeah. joining onto this force because you don't realize the powerful movement it is yeah. to support someone in starting a business. How do you generate the funds? The gala is going to be, like I said, November 23rd. Yeah. It's a red and black affair, so come mm -hmm. out dress really nice, but no yeah. pressure. But <laughs> try to. Um, the tickets are a hundred dollars. Yeah. So the tickets are a hundred dollars. It includes dinner and a glass of wine. Okay. So out of that hundred dollars, I, I always tell them, explain to people who, and we don't want to call it you're purchasing a ticket. We call it a contribution because yeah. that's what you're doing. You're contributing mm -hmm. to something to a worthy cause. Yeah. Fifty dollars goes directly to your food mm -hmm. and venue and all these things going on, and then fifty dollars, the other fifty dollars is what is going to the recipient. Yeah. And of course, it's going to be a gala where it be filled with entrepreneurs, with managers, with mm -hmm. hoteliers, all different people in different fields so it's also a networking opportunity, opportunity for you yeah. so you're not going to go there nice dress take pictures pose yeah. and eat but you're going to be in a room filled with great and amazing people and you announce the entrepreneur there then the they will announce it so yes. then all the people there get to know about your business too right. so that's even better and mm -hmm. we also encourage all the people who are partnering up with this in, a, in this event especially with young people and so forth mm -hmm. we try to promote their business as well as young people when you yeah. walk into the table we're going to have a little centerpiece with information of all the young entrepreneurs in the room nice. so it's going to be a really nice event mm -hmm. you know where you can socialize but network and really be with like-minded people and that's that's a great thing yeah. so we have two open calls right now and the application forms are at the youth department yeah. that's for the entrepreneur who can be able to get their startup capital right. through the rising entrepreneur gala and you also have the nomination forms for the youth awards of which there are many categories yeah <laughs> yeah yeah they can't miss out there <laughs> and both it seems that you know it's better if you have the buy-in of the person who's actually being nominated right. a lot of times people are working and they feel that perhaps they're not deserving of an accolade um you know they don't want the attention they perhaps you know how we are in Belize, you know, want to seem full of yourself. <laughs> um, and, and people just work because they want to contribute to a better cause. Yeah. What do you say to them about accepting the process of nomination and, and going through that towards the awards or towards the startup capital? Well, for me, I think about the idea that 
you're working so hard. And it's just like a graduation to me, I think about it. Like, yeah. you're working so hard, you're doing the time, you're maybe having sleepless nights. Yeah. And whatever your or field is, whatever you're trying to con contribute to youth development. Yeah. It's really nice to just be highlighted. Yeah. Right? To be able to know that you matter, you're appreciated, yeah. and that your work is not just being done for being done sake. I know sometimes you don't want to be told or you don't want to seem all this high maintenance yeah. or you want to feel like you're self-loading and you're full of yourself. Right. Mm -hmm. But it's sometimes really nice and it's comforting and it also gives inspiration yeah. for other young people. And I think that's something that's really important to look at and say, hey, she won the Entrepre Entrepreneurship Award about four years ago. Look what she's doing right now. Yeah. And it highlights the fact that these young people are hardworking, they're steadfast, they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. Even though they're not asking to be awarded, they get awarded and highlighted and it's an inspiration for other people to, we can do this too. If she can do this, I can do this. Yeah. Yeah. I, think, I think for us as summer school, something the same thing is just being an inspiration. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of times, you know, you want to do it, but you feel like, you can't, mm -hmm. you can't get it done, you don't believe in yourself, you ha you're having issues, especially in the environment that we're at sometimes. You know, you don't believe in your work and in yourself and what you can do and bring, you know, yeah. to this world. Yeah. So these events really highlight those people that, you know, decided to let me do this, let it, let's get it done and yeah. it's going to be worth it. And those other people who are still in the process of, I don't know what if, if yeah. should I or mm -hmm. whatever, then it gives them that whoof little push that, yeah, okay, let like, me get it done because maybe, you know, and it's, it's just, inspiration really. All right, and what's the deadline for these applications? Well, for the Rising Entrepreneurship Gala, it is August 1st. Okay. But for the National Youth Awards, it is October 11th. Okay. Our application opens June 10th, so next week, mm -hmm. everything's popping if you want to call it like yeah. that. <laughs> and you just have to go to your nearest youth department to get any one of these applications or to find out how to go through the process. Yeah. Right. Thank you for coming in and giving Thank us you. just a little bit of an idea, a sneak peek of what's coming up in November. Um, and we really do encourage people to nominate someone that they know, especially a young person that they know who's doing something exceptional. Um, I know why people want to be humble. It is important that we show uh, just some of the great examples of people who are working for positive growth in the country, yeah. right? Right. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. We're going to go ahead and take a break, and when we come back, we'll be talking about handmade chocolates. So stay tuned.